Here's why people cheat, according to experts. Learn whether it's best to mend your relationship or walk away after your partner is unfaithful. The emotional aftermath of infidelity mirrors the stages of grief. Initially, there is the shock of realizing that someone close has betrayed you, and perhaps even a phase of denial as you come to terms with their actions. Subsequently, pain and anger emerge, often prompting the question, why do people engage in infidelity? As outlined by Kelly Campbell, PhD, a psychology professor at California State University, San Bernardino, there are numerous reasons why individuals engage in infidelity. However, before delving into the specific motivations, it's crucial to emphasize that the concept of cheating and its definition can differ from one person to another. Infidelity is not solely limited to engaging in a sexual affair, it can also involve forming a deep emotional connection with someone else. In committed relationships, there is often a perception of the couple as a unified entity, sharing actions, thoughts, and goals. Seeking guidance or making decisions with someone outside of the relationship may be perceived or felt as a form of betrayal. Due to the complex nature of infidelity, it is vital for each couple to have a conversation about what constitutes cheating for them. Understanding your partner's definition is crucial. Typically, men may find physical infidelity more distressing, while women often place higher value on emotional openness. This is why establishing boundaries early in a relationship, both romantic and otherwise, is crucial for preserving mutual respect and preserving the bond. Ultimately, whether it involves a physical or emotional affair, infidelity can have a profoundly damaging impact on the well-being of a relationship. Here's a guide to understanding the psychology of infidelity, covering the motivations behind this behavior and providing insights on navigating the subsequent steps after your partner has been unfaithful. Why men cheat? Although gender doesn't predetermine the likelihood of infidelity, you observes that men and women tend to have distinct motivations for engaging in such behavior. Men often cite a physical impulse as a driving factor, whether it's a lack of physical affection in their current relationship, attraction to someone else, or stressors pushing them to seek an escape. Men often downplay their actions, rationalizing that what they're doing isn't considered cheating. Examples include visiting a strip club for a lap dance, watching pornography and engaging in self-pleasure, or asserting that flirting or engaging in inappropriate conversations with someone else isn't harmful to their spouse or partner. It's essential to note that not all men engage in infidelity, but a significant number may hold the belief that sexual satisfaction requires involvement with more than one person. Despite this rationale, many men can find fulfillment with a single partner. While open relationships may be successful for some couples, others discover ways to maintain the excitement without involving additional individuals. Why Women Cheat You suggest that men often engage in infidelity for physical reasons, whereas women tend to initiate affairs because of emotional voids at home or upon forming a connection with someone new. You explains, it's not always solely about sex. There's often something lacking in their marriage, primarily attention and affection. Most women seek appreciation, admiration, and ongoing interaction with a partner. For numerous women, infidelity often begins as an emotional connection that may eventually escalate into a physical one. Nevertheless, you underscores the notion that an emotional affair can be just as, if not more, detrimental to a relationship. He states, once a man discovers his partner's infidelity, regardless of gender, it's usually too late to salvage the relationship for him. I've heard men say, Yes, I cheated, but I didn't fall in love. My partner, did, they shattered me and ruined what we had together. Ultimately, determining what qualifies as cheating, whether emotional or physical, hinges on the boundaries established by the couple. Individual risk factors that lead to cheating. The reality is that individuals of any gender have the potential to engage in infidelity, and it's common for people to experience attractions to others at various points in their relationships, regardless of their level of commitment as a partner. The crucial factor lies in whether they choose to act on those desires, as it significantly influences the dynamics of the relationship. You emphasizes that all individuals can face temptations, and it ultimately reflects their core identity. Cheating, for some, may be a reaction to unresolved trauma, stemming from their upbringing or a past relationship they never fully processed. Others might engage in infidelity as a way to discover something in someone else during a vulnerable phase in their relationship. Campbell adds that certain individuals may find themselves in compromising situations that elevate the risk of cheating, even if they aren't inherently prone to it. This pertains to those whose surroundings expose them to the possibility of infidelity. 
Irrespective of the underlying reasons, you clarifies that cheating represents a manifestation of selfishness and a deficiency in impulse control. Indeed, individuals with narcissistic traits or those prone to stonewalling and withdrawal may face an elevated risk of infidelity, as these behaviors often indicate a lack of compassion, empathy, and outward respect. Campbell underscores, individuals with narcissistic tendencies are more predisposed to participate in infidelity. Relationship Risk Factors That Lead to Cheating Despite the fleeting nature of the honeymoon phase, investing effort into your relationship is essential, particularly as time progresses. Becoming complacent is a surefire way to see a relationship deteriorate. You emphasizes the importance, stating, all individuals should tend to their relationships with the same care they give to their health and appearances. Nurture the heart of your loved one. This entails understanding and actively addressing your partner's love language, engaging in regular date nights, and evolving together rather than expecting them to remain unchanged. You suggests that women tend to endure unhappy relationships for longer durations than men. However, when a woman starts to feel unappreciated or neglected, an invisible door or window opens for someone to catch her eye. This marks the initiation of emotional infidelity, often triggering a cycle of adultery within a partnership. Campbell adds, researchers have found that relationships characterized by dissatisfaction, unfulfilling sexual experiences, and high conflict are more susceptible to infidelity. Additionally, she notes that partners with greater dissimilarities in terms of personality, education level, and other factors are more likely to face the risk of infidelity. In the end, you emphasizes that the most crucial factor for establishing a lasting connection over the years is respect for your partner and your relationship. He states, communication and trust serve as the fundamental pillars of a healthy relationship. Once these elements break down, the relationship is bound to falter. Should you mend your relationship or walk away after your partner cheats? Faced with the heart-wrenching discovery of your partner's infidelity, you find yourself at a crucial crossroads, do you choose to stay and work towards healing the relationship, or do you opt to walk away? The decision hinges on your unique circumstances and your ability to overcome the challenges posed by the infidelity. As per Campbell's advice, it's acceptable to inquire why your significant other cheated, but she suggests avoiding details that may be distressing for you. She advises, without passing judgment, ask them to explain why they did it and understand their perspective. Is this truly about them? It's crucial to approach the conversation with an open mind to prevent them from shutting down and merely telling you what you want to hear. The next factor to ponder is whether they express remorse. Rebuilding the relationship is challenging if they are defensive or unwilling to be honest about the infidelity, says the expert. Looking ahead, can you reach a point where you can trust them once more? Continually bringing it up in every argument is unhealthy. Are you capable of being the kind of person who can forgive and rebuild trust? Lastly, she emphasizes the significance of taking a step back from the situation and reflecting on your values. Have your boundaries been crossed to an irreparable extent, she asks. Furthermore, in the event of your partner's infidelity, it could suggest their unmet needs, but what about yours? Maintain high self-esteem and recognize your own worth, Campbell advises as a final consideration when contemplating your course of action. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.